What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Glove Drop. Last night, the New York Rangers took on the Colorado Avalanche in their first game since the All-Star break. Complete side note, I, I need to know how I can go to the All-Star game and be around Justin Bieber and hockey at the same time. I don't care if I lose followers. I friggin' love Justin Bieber. Anyway, the Rangers go into this game with... Jonathan Quick in net, and they are facing a former New York Ranger in net for Colorado, Alexander Georgiev. The Rangers also finally have Ryan Lindgren back from injury, but they are without Jacob Truba, who is finishing up his two-game suspension. So that meant Braden Schneider was going to be on that line with Kendra Miller. It was a very offensive game played by both sides in that first period, but there was no defense to speak of at all. It was a complete just lack thereof on either side, and it started to pay off for the Colorado Avalanche. They did have multiple opportunities on the power play. Thanks God the Rangers were able to kill it. Three penalty kills by the New York Rangers. Not a good start for them. They got to stay out of the box, especially playing a team like Colorado. But Colorado did manage to take advantage of the New York Rangers in even strength, and with a minute and 48 to go, there was a goal by Nathan McKinnon. It was an insane move in the middle of the ice, takes it right down the center, and he's got such a quick shot off. If McKinnon's coming in hot like that, there's no stopping him. Watch the move right there, and then the quick hands. I mean, he just... So the Rangers go into that first intermission down 1-0. They were also outshot 15-11, to and they also, again, were in the penalty box three times, so this is not good. And there's no defense. So if, if I'm Peter LaViolette in that first intermission, what I'm telling these guys is obviously stay out of the freaking box. Number two is let's play a little defense. And number three, as always, as we always say forever and ever as Rangers fans, shoot the damn puck. The second period, we did see a little bit more defense by the Rangers, and they did manage to hold the Colorado Avalanche off to no more goals scored. But again, there was just not enough attacking of the net, not enough shooting of the puck. We we're seeing a lot of drop back passes and passing when a shot could have been taken. So the frustration is just building. But the Rangers do go into that second intermission, still down 1-0. The third period, the Rangers come out with much more physicality. We're seeing some really big hits. And finally, with just under nine to go, Artemi Panarin collects the puck from deep behind the net. He circles out, brings it out, and he manages to hold off Kale McCarr enough so that he can get off a beautiful shot. Artemi Panarin gets it in, ties the game up. Panarin on the line with Zibanejad and Kreider. And despite the immense pressure put on by the Colorado Avalanche, Jonathan Quick was able to hold them off and we are going into overtime. Now, overtime always gives me a, uh, the anxiety, like well, I'm gonna have an ulcer and I hate it, my tummy hurts. <laughs> Whenever it's overtime, my tummy hurts. But three minutes in, Alexi Lafreniere, I could have watched this goal 10 million times and still never get bored of it. A ridiculous move in front of the net followed by a perfect shot. What a move here to the inside! Shot with players not cutting in front. The Rangers get the 2 1 win over the Colorado Avalanche. This is their 15th come from behind win. And to make it even more fun, Jonathan Quick got the assist on that Alexi Lafreniere goal. So that was his first point. So that was pretty cool. So all around, it was a great night for the Rangers. Could have loved to see a little more defense, would have loved to see a little more shooting of the puck, but the Rangers will have another opportunity to do both. Their next game is Thursday against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I will have another video up after that. Hopefully it's another big dub. But in the meantime, if you've just come across this video, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you think about last night's game. Make sure you uh, share this with your hockey friends because I say it all the time. I'm just going to keep doing this until I make it big. So there we go. You may as well come along for the ride. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And until then, um, maybe Jacob Truba. I'm just, I hope he's doing all right. I miss him. I miss him.